Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Val Nkendong, Psychiatric Mental Health Nurse Practitioner and today I'm diving into a fascinating and highly relevant topic, New Year's resolutions. Every year, many of us set resolutions with enthusiasm but often they go unfulfilled. This can affect our mental health, sometimes contributing to feelings of anxiety or low self-esteem. Why does this happen and how can we set resolutions that truly benefit our mental well-being? That's what we're exploring today. Before I begin, please note that this video is for educational purpose only and not a substitute for professional medical advice. Always consult with your health care provider for customized care. Research shows that only about 8% of people actually achieve their New Year's resolutions. Why is this number so startlingly low? One reason is the setting of unrealistic goals. Psychologically, when goals are too ambitious or vague, our motivation dwindles. Additionally, a study in the Journal of Clinical Psychology indicates that failure to monitor progress of your resolution or goals contributes to high failure rates. So, how can we set a successful New Year's resolution or goal? The key lies in setting smart goals which are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. A study published in the American Journal of Preventive Medicine found that specific and clear resolutions are more likely to be adhered. Moreover, incorporating gradual changes and celebrating small victories significantly boosts long-term success. So, how do we set smart goals that stick? Let's break down a SMART goal with this common resolution, I want to be healthier this year. Specific. Specify what being healthier means. Is it losing weight, eating more vegetables, or perhaps running a 5K marathon? Measurable. Quantify your goal. For instance, I will eat 5 servings of vegetables daily. Achievable. Ensure the goal is realistic. If you rarely eat vegetables, start with two servings a day. Relevant. Your goal should align with your broader life goals and values. Time bound. Set a timeline. Decide by when you aim to achieve this goal. By framing your resolutions within these parameters, you're more likely to maintain motivation and achieve them. There are several tools and strategies that can assist you set a successful New Year's resolution using a SMART goal. First, consider using goal-setting apps that track your progress. Also, mindfulness and meditation can help maintain focus and reduce stress. Joining support groups or finding an accountability partner can also be incredibly beneficial. Regular self-reflection and adjustments to your SMART goals is also crucial. Don't be afraid to modify your goals as you progress. Remember, flexibility is key. And most importantly, be kind to yourself. Self-compassion is crucial in this journey. Working towards goals can significantly impact our mental health. Achievable goals can enhance our sense of self-efficacy, reducing feelings of helplessness often associated with clinical depression. On the flip side, unfulfilled resolutions can lead to feelings of failure affecting our mental health. When goals are unrealistic, the disappointment can exacerbate issues like anxiety or low self-esteem. When resolutions don't pan out, it's crucial to maintain a growth mindset. This means viewing setbacks as opportunities for learning and growth rather than as failures. This approach can mitigate the potential negative impact on our mental health, like avoiding the downward spiral of self-criticism that can lead to depressive symptoms. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this video provided valuable insights into setting and achieving your New Year's resolutions in a mentally healthy way. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more mental health educational content. Stay informed, stay healthy, and see you in the next video.